Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, blue and uh, red squares put together along with this uh, green uh, triangle uh, APD confined in between them. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side uh, AC is uh, 25 uh, units, whereas uh, this segment uh, EP is uh, 5. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, APD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side uh, AC is uh, 25. And now let's assume that this uh, side length of this uh, red square is uh, lowercase uh, a. So therefore all of its uh, side lengths are going to be a as well. And now let's assume the side length of this uh, blue square is uh, lowercase uh, b. Then all of its uh, side lengths are going to be lowercase b as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, length uh, is uh, a plus b and that is going to be equal to 25. So therefore I can write uh, a plus b equals to 25. And we know that this uh, segment EP is uh, 5 and that is going to be the difference of uh, a and uh, this uh, length uh, b. So therefore I can write uh, a minus b equals to 5 and now we are going to solve this system of equations uh, for uh, a and uh, b and now let's go ahead and add uh, these uh, two equations when we add uh, a plus a is going to give us uh, 2a positive b and negative b is gone so that is going to be 30. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 so therefore our a value turns out to be 15. So therefore we can see that this uh, side length uh, A turns out to be 15 and we know that this whole AC length uh, is uh, 25. So therefore this uh, B length uh, this one is going to be 25 uh, minus 15 is going to give us uh, 10. So thus we can see the side lengths of this uh, red uh, square turns out to be 15 uh, across the board and likewise for the blue square uh, it is uh, 10 units across the board and here's our next step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, APD as you can see this whole thing and here in this uh, next step I have divided this uh, big uh, green uh, triangle into two individual triangles this one on the left hand side is our AFP triangle and this the other one is our DFP. So therefore the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two individual triangles. The triangle AFP area plus uh, the area of this triangle uh, DFP. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of these uh, two individual uh, triangles. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times a base times a height. And now we can see the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, AFP is uh, 10 and the base uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, FP. Whereas the height uh, of this uh, other triangle uh, DFP is uh, 15 and the base uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, FP as well. So therefore now our task is uh, to find these uh, length of this uh, segment uh, FP. And now let's focus on these uh, squares. All these uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees. And now we can see that this uh, smaller right triangle uh, ABF uh, is similar to this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ACD according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since uh, both of these angles are 90 degrees and this angle is in common between both of these uh, triangles. And now let's assume that this uh, length uh, of this uh, segment uh, FB is uh, X uh, units. And we are going to find the value of this uh, X. 
And now since these uh, two triangles are uh, similar triangles, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, we are going to have the ratio of uh, BF and uh, CD is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, side AB and uh, AC. And we can see our this uh, BF length is uh, X, our CD length is 15 and then our AB length is 10 and our AC length is 25 as you can see in this next step. And now let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 15 to isolate X and if we simplify this thing this X is going to be equal to 6 units. So therefore our this uh, length uh, x uh, turns out to be 6 and we know that this uh, whole uh, side uh, of this uh, blue square is uh, 10. So therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, FP is going to be 10 minus 6 is going to give us uh, 4 units. So thus our uh, FP length turns out to be 4. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, AFP. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And for this triangle, uh, our base is uh, 4 and the height uh, is uh, 10. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area of this triangle is going to be a half times base uh, is 4 times height uh, is uh, 10. Let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us uh, 20 square units. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, other triangle uh, DFP as uh, well. And we know the base of this uh, triangle is 4 and the height uh, is uh, 15. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, base is uh, 4 times uh, 15. Let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us uh, 30. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, APD. And we know the area of this uh, triangle AFP turns out to be 20. And likewise, the area of the other triangle uh, DFP is uh, 30. So let's go ahead and add them. We are going to add 20 plus uh, 30 and that is going to give us uh, 50. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, APD turns out to be 50 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.